that's it that's the intro what is up guys butter something here in today's video we are going to be discussing the m1a builds that i personally use for all my m1a quests as well as sniping so to kind of start off you can't unlock the m1a in any variation until tier three that's when you can start buying it so that's what i'm basing all of this off of is when you can buy it so we're pretty much just going to have tier three and tier four builds for the most part so let's go ahead and start with the tier three build that you can build as soon as you hit tier three with skier mechanic and peacekeeper so oh, well you also need jaeger but that's only if you're going to use the monstrum i don't think the tac 30 is from jaeger and if it is i'm sorry that i uh, misquoted myself there but let's go ahead and start with the suppressor we have the dt mount this is with the hybrid 46 the reason that we're using this again is because the gem tech is actually tier four i do believe that it is cheaper but it is tier four so you want to make sure that when you are building this if you have that tier four i would use the gem tech over the hybrid 46. you also are going to attach the mini scout to this because you are using the archangel the archangel stock to have that better stability you're gonna need a mini scout if you want to attach the NC star with the PK06 for that, that side movement that you have. Additionally, you are gonna to wanna to use the ARMS 18 scope mount because it will allow you to use either the Monstrum or the TAC 30, and that's actually only a tier two attachment. Uh, lastly, the Surefire XC1 tactical flashlight again you guys know i've put this in all of my videos you want to make sure that you have this because it has an ir which is infrared array of light while rather than the direct light of a laser so you're not going to have your enemies spot this or see this as often as they would your laser down a hallway so this right here is the first tier 4 build that you can get with this build what you will see is we went ahead we changed the stock and the chassis here as well as right over here we did change that suppressor you will notice that with that suppressor it is definitely cheaper than the hybrid 46 suppressor so you will be saving a little bit of money there but this build is about 140k which is around 10 to 20k more than our tier 3 build but with this build i will say having that valde will definitely help seeing as how you are probably going to use this more for a long range or you're going to use this for the quest that requires you to use the m1a with the reap ir scope but this is the m1 sas this is definitely the highest variable m1a that you can make the big thing about this is that you can change the stock, the pistol grip, as well as the foregrip. And even adding a foregrip on this is going to help it with the recoil as well as the ergonomics that you're going to want on this weapon. Definitely helps you aim a little bit faster. And definitely if you are going to use this as a semi-automatic assault rifle, essentially, this would want to be essentially the chassis that you would need for that because you can help with that vertical recoil. Um, again, I have changed the scope a little bit. And with that what you will see on this scope is that it is probably one of the higher to lower variable scopes so what you'll have here is you'll have a very high zoom and a very low zoom all in the same scope that is why i personally rank the voodoo probably in my top five along with the tac 30 and that monstrum those are just my favorite overall scopes again nc star on this and just put a suppressor gen tech you know this is obviously you're going all out on this weapon so you might as well put those things on them. If you feel that I left anything out in this video, definitely make sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, definitely make sure to leave a like. And if this is your third or fourth time here, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button if you've been enjoying the content. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.